It started probably, I would say, probably about four years ago now, um, related to an incident we went to. It was just a family member turned up and, yeah, it was, I just couldn't get that certain person out of my head and, and then everything just spiralled out of control then. Everything I did, I, I couldn't get anything out of my mind. Walking on gravel and that brought back memories and everything I did, everything I went to, uh, work, family life, everything just spiralled out of control. It would be anything to drop in a spoon on the floor. I, I, I could just, uh, I could flip. Um, I never threatened anybody, um, but you, you get close to, you can feel yourself starting to lose control and the slightest thing, uh, e even the dog, she rolled in something and I was fuming. It's fuming to the point where I was stood in the middle of the field crying. So for me, it was very difficult and it must have been even worse for, for my family, really. Station-wise, I just didn't bother. I didn't bother with the training. I just let the others just doodle along and paperwork, fire reports. I was just months and months behind with everything, really. I went to the doctors because I thought I was having a heart attack. <laughs> um, I was getting pains in my chest and she did all the checks and said, you know, ah, there's nothing, there's nothing there. And it was then that she said, you know, how's your family life, home life, work life? And uh, yeah, it was then that the realisation kicked in and well, I, I, I broke down in the doctor's surgery. So it was then that uh, I realised I had a bit of a problem and she advised me to, uh, to seek help. First of all, I, I never thought about the charity. You know, I've paid, I donate to it every year and it comes out my wages and everything. And, and uh, it was somebody from headquarters that said, you know, get in touch with the charity. And uh, so I did, I rang them up, filled in the online form and uh, we went from there really. I took my first week down at Harcombe House and uh, yeah, it was, it was very good. Not everybody had the mental issues, some were there with, you know, broken limbs or whatever, but it was just good to talk to all them. Speaking to the therapist, we managed to single out probably what the cause of my, my, my problems were and we, we made a plan of how I was going to take that home once I'd been down there. Everybody noticed the difference straight away. I mean, I came back, I was probably back to how I used to be really, bouncing around and full of the joys of spring. My concentration at the station was back to where it should be. I, I just felt like I wanted to be there again. I think all my work has, has well it has, it's, it's definitely improved compared to what it was three years ago. Um, and I talk about nothing else but what the charity did for me really. After being at Harkham, one of, one of the, um, the fitness instructors said, you know, take up running, it, 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 it's, it's just good for you, which it is. And uh, I saw the my 75 mile challenge and thought, you know, I'm running. Why don't I make use of it? And uh, it's a good way to raise money for the charity as well. You know, I've had two weeks out of the charity, so let's put a little bit back in and hopefully somebody else can benefit from it as much as I did, you know. So that's why I've done it. I just think it's an amazing charity. It does make you feel good. I, I always thought of running as, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not doing that. You know, people say it makes you feel good. Yeah, right. But it, it really does. And it just sets me up for the whole day. Makes you think clearly as well. You've got a bit of time to sort things about. I can't pick the charity up enough to people that I talk to about it. Um, for me, it's just, yeah, it's just been amazing. And if I can pass that on to other people and get them to use the charity as well, then I think it's a really good thing, really good thing.